Hello, I'm Matt from Ludobox.fr, and today I'm going to give you an overview of Mandragora. So this is a set collection game for 2 to 4 players, ages 8 and up, and for uh, around 20 minutes. So in this game, players play as sorcerers, and they want to cast the most spells to gain the most victory points. To cast a spell, you need a spell book and the matching ingredients, and you need them in accordance to the level of the spells uh, that you want to cast. And obviously, the bigger spells, the bigger the abilities, but also the bigger the victory points. So now, um, we also have um, magical items here, so we have ingredients and, and spellbooks, but we also have some face-down items, which are on the night shops, and we also have some cursed scrolls that we don't want. And the assistant is going to help us gather all of those. So how do we play this game? We are going to be playing turn after turn until the game ends, which is basically when the draw pile is empty. So on my turn, I can either cast a spell, which we will we'll cover later, or we can collect ingredients. To collect ingredients, which I'm going to do because it's the beginning of the game, I will simply move the assistant from one to three spaces clockwise. So I will collect everything that is on the shop I land on. In this case, I don't want the face down item because I don't want to take chances. I don't want the cursed scroll. So I will move here, take all things, all magical items that are there, so this spellbook in this instance, place it into my hand and then refresh everything by placing one new item for each space crossed or I started on. So obviously on night shops you will put things face down and on day shops you will put, it, put things face up. Then it's the end of my turn, we can move on to the next player. They will probably do one, two, three, same thing as me. We will do that. Place a card face up, another card face up, and a card face down, and we can go on and on. As a reminder, when I move there, I will collect the entire stack. And sometimes we have cursed scrolls, and every time we pick a cursed scroll, be it face up or face down, we reveal it face up. And the player with the most curse symbols is going to take the curse, which is minus two victory points at the end of the game. So now, instead of moving the assistant to retrieve magical items, I may cast a spell. To cast a spell, I will need a spell book and matching ingredients of that color to go to that spell level. With two ingredients matching my spell book, I can cast a level two spell. I will take that spell and perform its ability. We have immediate abilities, permanent abilities, and end game abilities. We may trade cards, we may uh, give cards to other people, we also uh, may play again. This allows me to go again and simply uh, be quicker than my opponents, and so on and so forth. Play is going to continue until the draw deck is empty, with players either collecting ingredients or casting spells. And when the draw deck is empty, the player who emptied it is going to take that token. This signifies that there will be only three table turns left, and then two, and so on and so forth. During that period of time, players can withdraw from the game if they think they have no more things to do. And then at the end of that period, or if everyone withdraws, we are going to tally up scores. And obviously the highest score is the winner. So how do you uh, tally scores? Every cast spell is going to award you points with the number of points on the spell book and the spell. So this spell is worth two points. But with other spell books, you might have some points. Also, the curse is going to give you minus two victor points if you have it. And finally, the remaining cards of your hand, the colored cards, are going to make you lose points. Please note that we have one card, the Mandragora, which we start with. And it is a wild card, which can be a spellbook or an ingredient. And that's it for the base rules of Mandragora. Please note that if you want to play in teams, there is a game mode that allows you to do so. That's it for Mandragora, so this is a game in which you try to take risks by taking cards, sometimes face down, and in which you try to not leave so many opportunities to your opponents, and you want to take the most of it by casting powerful spells. Now, bye-bye, and see you in the box of the car.